This is Mildred Monday, and you're listening to the Snowplow Show. You don't have to, but you are. I hate Brad Carter. Hi, Matthew. Yeah, who's this? This is uh, Doug from the gym. Okay. What can we do for you? Uh, I was just wondering, um, you know, I work up here at the counter and everything, and like every time you come in, you're just looking at me. And Can you just stop it? You stop looking at me like that? Excuse me? I, I just, when you check in, and you know, you're just looking at me. It's giving me snake eyes or Who something. I just want you to stop it. Stop looking at me like that. Who are you? This is Doug. I work at the counter. No idea who you are, dude. Well, uh, you, I, I know, because you never talk to me. You just look at me. You just give me that look. Okay, so what's the problem, man? The, my problem is the way you're looking at me. Can you just stop looking at me? Can you, do cut, you work there? cut it the fuck do, out? Do you work there? Yeah, I work here. Do you work I, there? Yes, and I want you to stop looking at me when you check in. And you work there? Yeah, how many times have I told you now? I work here at the gym. Why do I come down there right now? Let's no, no, no. I want you to stop looking at me when you come in. I don't look at you, motherfucker. Yeah, you do. You look at me every time you check in. I don't even know who the fuck you are. This is Doug at the gym. Motherfucker, I don't know who the fuck you No, don't curse at me. Don't curse at me. Look, I'll do what the fuck I want. No, not I'll in our gym. This is this is our gym. Listen, next time I come in, make it make it apparent that who you are so we can talk it out. How's that? You know who I am because every time I come in, every time you no come in, you're looking at me. Who you, are. you know exactly you're a white who I am. Guy, a fucking... Oh, so, oh, so now, so now you're now white. you're racist. Now you're going to be a racist. I said, is that why you're? Which are you white, black, Mexican? Is that why you're looking at me? Because you're a racist. Dude, I'm asking a question. What are you? I don't know. I'm trying to place you, dude. Oh, is, it, is that all you? Is that all you know? People by is their race. You fucking racist. Yeah, that's it, motherfucker. Why don't you just, just stop so looking at me? Spick, if you're a spick or a fucking cactus, 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 Hearted boy? Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blow and smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? <laughs> You're listening to the Snowplow Show, episode 530. Today is January 31st, 2019. And this one's brought to you by Stan Trucker, Arbitrary Alex, I Regret Jumping, Rumpled Foreskin, and Jamie F. Those are the sponsors of today's show. Thanks for supporting the show. And thanks, Brandon S., for becoming a new member of the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. If you want to support the show, you can go there and do that. You can also go to phone losers.com slash cactus. Supporting the show usually gets you an extra show every week. Like this week, I did one about stolen cell phones. Let's see if I can find a good clip from this. Oh, we, we can tell by the GPS coordinates. Well, I don't care what you can tell. It's not here, and I don't have nobody's phone. Well, okay? G- GPS coordinates don't lie, sir. I don't care. Maybe it could be next door to me. I don't know what oh, you're talking no, about. Oh, no, no. The GPS coordinates... I'm a customer with AT&T, okay? Yeah, so you shouldn't be stealing your own... I'm cus- not stealing. You're accusing me of stealing? Are you out of your mind, Roy? Give me your number. Let me talk to your superior. Oh, superior. no, I don't want to give you my superior. Uh, the- well, screw you, then. Well, hey, <laughs> that's what I was up to yesterday, telling people I was with AT&T... And a stolen cell phone was showing up at their house with the GPS coordinates. And then last week, I did a bunch of adopt-a-highway calls. That would be Mr. McCanty. He's actually away till next week. Ah, fuck. Hi. Yeah. Nice mouth. Oh, tell her to shut the fuck up. That's my wife. <laughs> yeah, Hi. tell That's your wife to wife. shut the fuck up. Okay. Where are you? Where are you located so that way you and I can talk face to face? Uh, I don't need to talk face to face with you. I work in an office. I, I don't work in a small little rinky dink outfit like yours. Uh, you can't even come up here. There's security. So good luck coming up here yeah, to kick my ass, motherfucker. Oh, so you want to no, just get the cop and press charges. So you want those over the phone? Oh, you're going to press charges because I'm mean? Yep. That was last week. Lady wants to press charges because I asked her to shut the fuck up. So those are fun. You're really missing out if you don't support the show and get to hear those. Don't you feel left out? I hope you do.
because that's the plan. I don't really have any other announcements today. I guess we'll just get right into the show. I mean, I kind of want to do this news report about an astronaut on the International Space Station accidentally dialing 911 because people won't stop sending that to me and posting it on the PLA Facebook group, even though it happened forever ago, or a few weeks ago, I guess. But, you know, you get it. The astronaut, he didn't dial a zero first, I guess, is what happened. And he accidentally called 911 in Houston. LOL. I'll put a link to that story in the show notes if you want to read about that. But I guess that's it. Let's get started with today's show after these important messages. How would you like to work a few hours a week and have the potential to make serious money without any employees? Well, people from all walks of life are doing just that in the 900 number industry. My free audio cassette gives you an insider's edge on how to make money with a 900 number 24 hours a day, whether you're on the golf course or at the beach. You'll also learn how some of our clients put cash in their pockets the very first week they got started. To get my free 60-minute audio cassette, you need to call 1-800-652-5599. Call right now. And remember, ask about our next free seminar coming soon to your area. I'm in the mood for some Sensei Doug calls today, mostly because of this book I found called Getting Even with the Answering Machine, published in 1985, which has a bunch of really dumb ideas for things to say to answering machines when you reach them, which really, I should be doing these ideas. I mean, they're so stupid. Like this one. Hello, Jane. We have to talk. Every time my husband comes back from a business trip, there's another notch carved into the handle of his briefcase. Click. The whole book is filled with hilarious stuff like that, ideas to leave on people's machines. But what I really like is that there's a picture of Sensei Doug in this book, and he's doing a karate chop on some answering machines that are up on cinder blocks or wood or something. He's getting ready to karate chop them in half. Three answering machines all at once. This drawing really illustrates the power of Sensei Doug and all his ninja karate skills. There's also a picture of Carol putting her answering machine into a food processor to chop it up. What a great book. I think I'm going to have to read this for Brad's Cactus Shack, maybe. Oh, crap. Pages are falling out of it. Anyway, I want to do some Sensei Doug calls. You know those calls where I call up businesses around a karate school place and give them a piece of Sensei Doug's mind. That's what we're going to do today. I'm pretty sure I have a whole list of these that I've used some of them in the past, but there's still plenty left to use, but I can't seem to find that right now. But I did find a small list in here from Steve. He sent this on July 21st, 2018. And it's just one Taekwondo place, along with the names and phone numbers of four different businesses around it. And it looks like the first one is a subway. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be calling from a local number. I don't have that ability right now. So I might get... Subway nice. Oh, hey there. Uh, This is Sensei Doug over at the Taekwondo place, you know, here in the shopping center. Uh, yeah. You know the Taekwondo place, right? Uh, I think so. Oh, who's this? Oh, uh, this is a worker. This isn't the manager. Oh, I know, but what's your name? Uh, Juliet. Oh, hey, Juliet. Hey, who's the guy that works there? Oh, hi. No, 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 I said, who's the guy? There's a guy that works oh, there? The, um, the owner? Yeah. Well, well, I don't know. Um, I was walking by your window earlier on my way up here to my dojo office Mm -hmm. and there was a guy in there an employee and he was giving me snake eyes he was giving you what snake eyes what does that mean (laughs) uh you know he was just he was eyeing me he was giving me snake eyes oh um yeah oh sorry about that Um, i'm (laughs) can i is it okay if i yell at him is he around (laughs) do you want to speak to him yeah yeah i want to give him a piece of my mind like is it is it your manager it's, yeah it's the owner okay do you like him um yeah oh darn because i was hoping you didn't <laughs> like him because that way i could you like if you don't like him and if you're just saying that make sure you keep an eye on him because you're gonna you're gonna see him get a verbal beat down by an, uh, by a fucking ninja okay <laughs> okay <laughs> but don't tell him that just say hey sensei doug wants to talk to you and smile. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay, thank you. Well, I mean, are you getting them? Oh, do you you still want to speak to him? Yeah, yeah, I want to give him a, a ninja beat a ninja beating over the phone. Can I help you? Oh, hey, uh, I need to talk to the guy that works there. This is Sensei Doug from the Taekwondo place here in the shopping center. Uh, oh, okay. Yep, is here. Hold on a minute. Is here. Okay. 
guy from the Taekwondo place next door. He wants to talk to you. Morning. Hey there, uh, this is Sensei Doug from the Taekwondo place. Yeah. Hey, I was walking by there earlier and I noticed you giving me those snake eyes. Me? Yeah. For what? I don't know why. Why are we doing it? That's why I'm calling to ask. No, I don't even know. You don't, do you know who I am? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're the you're the only male that's working in there, according to, to Julie. I'm she ready? I, I don't know you from Adam. Yeah. Well, why are we giving me snake eyes then? Do you just give everyone snake I eyes when not. they walk by? I was I, I watch and see what's going on outside for certain, especially in the parking lot yeah, when people are trying to park in this weather. But I don't. I I, didn't, I don't even know you. You were giving me, me you were giving me snake eyes like the whole well, time I was walking by, and you do it every day. Like you, you see well, me. Well, I look. I definitely watch what's going on out in my parking lot. That's for sure. I'll, it's, I'll admit it's, to that. It's like I'm you're jealous. In, it's, huh? like you're, it's like you're jealous because I'm walking by in my ninja uniform and my karate taekwondo uniform. No, nope, and, you're and talking to the wrong guy. No, no, it's definitely you. You saw me. No, maybe sorry, maybe, sir, maybe you didn't you're notice talking to the wrong guy. Maybe you didn't notice the uniform because you were so locked in on my eyes with your snake eyes. I, I'm I'm when I come in this store, I'm busy. I'm worried about my business and making sure everything's going the way it is when i'm looking outside i'm looking at the parking lot and what's going on out there as far as cars parking and that kind of stuff okay well I, I don't even know you i did not do it if you thought i did it i'm sorry but it wasn't i wasn't looking at you okay well look i'm not i'm not i bet bet, 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 bet. hey i just i just work here i'm not here to cause trouble i I just you know i'm just going to work you don't have to be all worried about me and give me snake eyes and try and scare me Uh, if you walk by right now i wouldn't know you from adam oh yeah you would i'm the one that always wears the the karate uh, black belt taekwondo uniform ninja no idea sir yep you 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 got me on you're pegging me wrong because i have no idea I don't. I don't mess with people, and I don't. And well, I know. But here, I do make sure that my business is safe, and who comes in here acts accordingly. But as far as you goes and your store there, I've never been in it, and I've never had anything to do. Yeah, with pro- it. probably you felt safe because you know you're behind that big plate of glass, and uh, you just thought nope, you could go around nope, giving people snake eyes. It. I'm sorry, it has nothing to do with it, sir. Uh, can you can you just like not give me snake eyes in the future, though? That's all I, I ask. I have no idea. I'm. I'm not going to give you snake eyes, but I have no idea who you are. I cannot tell you. So this conversation has gone on long enough. Okay, but l- no, you. I'm just asking, can you please stop? That's all. Did you hang up? I think he hung up. Yep, he hung up. Well, I guess that wasn't bad for a first call. I hope Julie enjoyed watching him get all flustered and try and explain himself. Thank you for calling me. The best in professional dog roaming. Our business hours are Monday, Wednesday. Aw, oh, man. It's an answering machine. Oh, hold on, ma'am. I've got a, a good comeback for you. Let me flip through my book here. Uh, hi, I'm starting a foundation to help people who've lost their way in life and can't seem to find themselves. I'm calling it the Jimmy Hoffa House. <laughs> all right, I don't get that at all. Half Oh, the Jimmy Hoffa House. Halfway House? Jimmy Halfway? I don't know. That's on page 30 of the Getting Even With Answer Machines book. I didn't have a page ready when I got that machine. I'll try to be better prepared next time. I should just do everything in this book throughout the next, I don't know, like 12 snowplow shows. Maybe just cross them out as I do them. Put a little check mark on them. Or just throw the page away since all the pages are falling out of this book. Anyway, next, we've got a 7-Eleven. Hello. Oh man, come on. 7 Eleven, they, they've got to be open. Hello, please leave a message. How is 7 Eleven not picking up? Hello, please leave a message. Oh crap. I'm not even going to leave them a message because would they even check it? It's a 7 Eleven. Why aren't they answering? It's the middle of the day. So next we've got an animal hospital. I don't want to prank an animal hospital. Hospital. This is Shelby. How may I help you? Hey, Shelby. It's Sensei Doug here in the, the shopping center, you know, at the Taekwondo place. Yeah. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, uh, when I walked by there earlier, um, you were at the window and you were winking your butthole at me. What? I'm just saying you're, I, like, I, I'm married and I just, I don't want that kind of thing. Can you please not wink your butthole at me when I walk by? I'm sorry, are you maybe calling? I, I'm not aware of what you're talking of. No, you're the animal hospital. You're t- yeah. two doors down from, from me. 
Yeah. I was walking to work. I was in my ninja outfit, and I know it's a intimidating outfit, and like, you know, some people might be attracted to the uniform, but I don't need you winking your butthole at me. I, I mean, think you might be talking about somebody different. I didn't see you at all. No, I know exactly who you are, and I mean, even if I was available, I wouldn't like that. That just wouldn't. I mean, come on, like that's kind of trashy to be winking your butthole at someone you basically don't even know. Again, sir, I don't. I don't think you understand what you're talking about because that was definitely not me. Well, who was it then? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I know actually, but I definitely did not have any butthole winking at anybody in any window, nor did I see you walking down past in your ninja outfit. Well, I know which. I so you're just doing it to everyone then? That's kind of that's even more disturbing. And I know which one you are. Like I, I've talked to you before. I brought my dog. You know which one I am. Yeah, because I brought my dog Popper in, like last year. Uh, still not ringing a bell. I've definitely been busy. Okay, well, you know. I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, you're putting me on speaker. Why? How come? Uh, because I'm not comfortable having this conversation without somebody else hearing. Okay, well, I'm not comfortable with you winking your butthole at me every time I walk by, because this isn't the first time. And you just keep doing it, and will you please stop? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Someone made her hang up. Well, I guess that's the last one I'm calling since 7-Eleven's not picking up here. Let me try them one more time. Oh, hey there. It's um, This is Sensei Doug from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. I'm sorry, who's this? Sensei Doug from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. Okay. I'm calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I could speak with? Just do a quick survey with them. With a customer? I yeah. don't know if they were probably. What? One second. Okay. You, you mean you want to talk to the customer, right? Yes, correct. I'm with the corporate office, home office, manager yeah. Monday. One. Give me one so, second. Okay. Hello. Hello. Is this a customer or is this an employee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, is it, yeah, no, yeah. That's, that's not a yes or no question. Uh, are I you... What? Yeah. No, Would, it's a customer, man. Huh? Say I'm a customer, man. I'm a customer, yeah, I'm a customer, yeah. I buy all the time, sir. No, look, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm calling from the corporate office. You need to actually put a customer on. I can see you through the cameras. I know you're not a customer. Yeah, yeah. Man, he is the customer. He's playing lottery, my friend. Yeah. What was that? He's playing lottery. He is the customer, sir. Yeah. Okay, look, the, the whole thing, that was just an elaborate ruse. This is actually Sensei Doug from the Taekwondo place a couple doors down. You know the Taekwondo here, here in the shopping center? Okay. Do, do you know who I am? No, I do not. I, I'm, I work, this is Sensei Doug from Taekwondo. I'm from the Taekwondo place. The dojo. Two two doors down from you. Okay. And I came in there today, and you were giving me snake eyes. Wait, I'm sorry, what is it? You were giving me snake eyes when I came in earlier. You were just giving me snake eyes the whole time you rang up my purchase. I got I got beef jerky and you you gave me snake eyes. I don't know who this guy is though. Can you type to this guy, Jennifer? Oh, don't hang up on me! Come on! Damn it! What do you guys think? Was that a customer or was that an employee? It was probably a customer, but I don't know. He sounded kind of fake. I guess I can try this dog grooming place again. The one I left a message for. Thank you for calling. Oh, uh, no, she's still not picking up. All right, let's try the Taekwondo place. Hello, thank you for calling. I'm sorry we're unable to answer your phone call. Darn, Taekwondo place isn't picking up. So that's the end of this list. Thank you, Steve, for sending this one in. I'm going to see if I can find that other list, which I'm pretty sure is in here somewhere. Just got to look around a little bit. Oh, here's something. Uh, I did a search for the word karate in my email 
And Kyle sent me a request in 2016 that I've never called before. He wants me to prank his boss, Billy. He owns the blah 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 business where they sell and service hot tubs. There's a karate studio next door. You could say you're Sensei Doug and my boss stares at you when he drives by. Okay, he will definitely get furious. I've been listening to your podcast for the last two weeks. Eight hours a day. Wow, get a life, Kyle. Wonder if he's still a listener. Hello, is this Billy? It is. Okay, it's Sensei Doug from the karate place here in the same shopping center, just a little bit down from you. You know the karate, mm. the karate studio. Yeah, I mean, I take karate, but I think you're you got the wrong. Sp- well, no, no, you 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 your your business is right here in the same area as me. Like you drive by all the time, and you're always looking at me. Mm, no, <laughs> no, it's definitely you. Where are you at? No, I'm sure. What city? What city? I, no, I'm not in Utah. I know it's my my phone number says I'm in Utah. Yeah, I'm, I'm here in. How oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I look at you all the time. Yeah. Where would that be at? You're always giving me snake eyes. Like I'm I'm at the uh, Oh Emma. <laughs> what? Emma? Yeah, you definitely are. I'm I'm at the karate studio next door. I'm right next door. But I don't have a karate studio in that area. Yes, you do. Maybe you just don't know where it is. All right. So tell me more. Anyway, what's going on? Well, you keep driving by and just looking at me and giving me snake eyes. Can you please stop? Uh, if I knew where you were and, and who you were and what I was doing, yeah, I'm oh, gladly. You, you know what you're doing. Stop, Maybe you should just stop doing it to everyone, and, and then you wouldn't have to figure <laughs> out who it is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I take karate, but, man, I don't know of any studio here uh, where I'm at, not in my, in my business park that I'm in. There's no karate studio here. I've probably taken more karate than you. I'm a sensei. How about you're not a sensei? I am not a sensei. So no. you, you don't need to be give me snake eyes. Well, I could probably still take you. Oh, I don't think so. Well, I'm pretty sure I could. I could kick your ass all over the parking lot. <laughs> all right. <laughs> not that I would, but I'm just saying it'd be pretty easy. <laughs> you could. You uh, you would uh, light. You're lightening up on me. Yeah, yeah. So, I, just, I don't see why you're trying to cause trouble. I'm just here to work. You're here to work. That's yep. funny. Yep. So, uh, man, funny phone call. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Glad I could help. Have a nice day. <laughs> right. Thanks for not getting. All right, sensei. Thanks for not getting furious. It completely you ruined. Like a sim, simpa or you know. Yeah, yeah. If you say so. Oh, hey, I gotta go. I got an important call coming in. All right. It's a sensei related. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a call from that previous shopping center. Hello, sensei Doug speaking. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who's this, sir? Well, who the fuck are you? You're the one who called me, you ass. Oh, well, you're, are, you're the one giving me snake eyes, aren't you? Never mind. Have a nice day, man. You, you're, you were giving me snake eyes, like, when I came in to get my beef jerky. When, today? Yeah, yeah. Well, every day. Every day I come in, you're always giving me snake eyes. You, you just, like, you know, stop giving me snake eyes. I don't appreciate it. You know? Okay, never mind. Have a nice day, man. And, and, then, and then I asked you to put a customer on the phone, and you put on an employee and pretended it was a customer. Okay, have a nice day, man. How, how come you couldn't just be honest? The guy pretending he's from the corporate office is wondering why the other guy can't be honest. But yeah, what the hell, Kyle? Billy didn't get furious at all, and apparently the karate studio is no longer there, probably because I should have called this one back in 2016. Sorry about that. Here's an email from Nomad Cow, which isn't exactly a list, but he sends me the Google Maps URL to, uh, what is it, like four different karate places that are apparently all in shopping centers. So we've got a gym next to me. Thank you for calling the... I'm Steve. Hey, Steve, it's Sensei Doug at the martial arts place next door. Oh, okay. How you doing? Okay, fine. That's good. Um, hey, I noticed when I walked by today, um, you were, you know you were looking at me. You remember? I don't remember. Oh, to be honest with you. Oh, well, it's definitely you. Um, you okay. gave me the international sign of the ninja, which means you want to fight, and I don't want to fight. Why are you talking about? No, I'm just saying I don't want to fight. You know what that what you're talking about? Well, I don't want to fight with you. Look, I'm a peaceful person. I'm just here to teach. 
teach ninja skills to students. I don't know students. what you're talking about. I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. So as far as I'm concerned, this conversation ceases because I have no idea but, what you're talking no, about. No, you were giving me snake eyes when I walked by. You always give me snake eyes. and then I don't know what you're talking about. And then the most recent okay. time, you gave the international sign of the ninja. What is and, that? What oh, is you, the international sign? You, I have no idea what a ninja is, you, and I have no idea what the sign is. Okay. You know what so it is because you, you gave it to me. I and do not. Know. Look, I just don't want to fight you. Okay, I'm not interested. Well, you aren't going to fight anybody. Okay. Well, I That's mean, ridiculous. I I could win, but I don't want to. You know. Oh, I, I'm sure you can. I'm 67 years old with a torn rotator cuff and bad knees. Yeah, I could take you out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I just well, but but why would you give that symbol uh, with your hands? I don't know what it is. It's like a gang sign for for senseis. I don't know what you're talking about. It's ridiculous. I know it is ridiculous that you would do that. I don't get it. It's ridiculous. Yep. Okay. I got things to do better than listen to you. Okay. I don't even know you are. Uh, I'm what is a ninja anyway? I'm sensei Doug. I run the martial arts academy next door. This guy is next door. He said that every time he walks by and cry, I give him the ninja sign. I don't know what that is. Who is that? Some guy next door. You talk. I mean, I told him. Hello? This is Brooke, the manager. Oh, hey, Brooke. I was just telling Steve that I didn't want to fight with him because he was, he was giving me ninja signs through the window and, and giving me snake eyes. And, but, you know, I don't want any trouble. I'm just here to teach students. That's all. Um, I, you know what, I, I stand in the middle. I'm, I'm going to speak for him if that's what you perceived him to give you. Yeah. He's, he's not, he in no way, shape, or form would, would give off a, a bad message or, what, or be like that, okay? What's he saying in the background? I can hear him just going on and on. No, 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 he, he's, he's not, he's just a little upset about it, but there's, there's absolutely no, no ill will. Oh, okay, well, coming. that... Okay. I just like All yeah. Right, I, I don't want to fight with him. I, I just he gave me the international sign of the ninja, and I, I thought it was weird that he even knew what that was if he's not a sensei. Um, you know what? It was just inadvertent. Okay. Well, I don't know because he's always giving me snake eyes when I walk by. Okay. Well, you have a good day. Okay. Cause, like you, you, you know who I am, right? I'm, I always walk by in my my ninja outfit, my uniform. Well, there, there's quite a few of them. Yeah. That we, do that, so. Yeah, but I'm the one wear, I, I wearing no the headphones. Idea. I wear my Walkman. Okay. And I air punch to the music. All right, my man. Well, there, there's no no ill will from, from us to you, okay? Okay. Well, I don't know. Like, Steve seemed pretty uh, irate with me, and I, I was just trying to to smooth things over. Well, he's upset I, because you're, you you found some problem with his, his gesture. Which was inadvertent. It was the international... Can you tell him not to share the international sign of the ninja with other people? Because he's not he supposed to know that. Know that it was the, he didn't know that it was the sign, okay? I think he did, because he's... Okay, well, he's, you know what? We're a little busy right now, so you have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Man, Steve was just going on and on in the background the whole time. Hopefully, Brooke calms him down. That was intense. That's the first time I've ever done the international sign of the ninja thing. To be honest, I don't even know what the international sign of the ninja is. Because, you know, obviously I'm not a ninja or a sensei. But I kind of think I need to do that more often. Here's a coffee place that's over on the corner, a couple doors down. Coffee. Oh, hey, it's uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Martial Arts Academy, a couple doors down. Sure. And, um... I got a coffee there this morning. Okay. Um, one of those, um, I don't know what it's called, mocha, whatever's. And you know how you guys, you, you put patterns into the top of it? You like make little yeah. drawings and stuff. Whoever did my coffee, the guy that was there, he put the international sign of the ninja into the top of my drink. Really? Yeah, which means he wants to fight me. What? <laughs> like, what, what's the guy's name that was working there? Um, there were a couple people working this morning. I'm oh. not sure who you would have interacted it's, with. It's the one with, um, he's always giving me snake eyes. He has kind of like resting bitch face. 
Oh, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't know. He he put the design in my latte, whatever thing, and it, it's the international sign of the ninja, and he's not even supposed to know that. So I wanted to let you know I've reported him to the ninja society, the international ninja society. Okay. And they might be getting in touch with him to ask him where he learned that symbol from. All right. But I don't want to fight him, you know. Like I, I don't want to fight anyone. I'm, I'm a peaceful person. I'm just over here teaching my students to defend themselves. That's all. I don't go around starting fights sure. with people. Um. Yeah. I really don't. <laughs> well, first of all, I don't know who it would have been who it was that you interacted with. Um. And I don't. I don't know of anyone here who uh, is a ninja. Yeah, well, I mean, so, if he is, he wouldn't say he's a ninja because they they're not supposed to tell. But I know he's not a ninja. I can tell because he has no discipline at all. Um, Just in my daily interactions with him, I can tell. Well, I'm sorry that you had that interaction. I, I, I'm not really sure what I, <laughs> I can do uh, about that situation. Um, I know it's not an accident because really... it's a really complex symbol he had to draw into, into there. Into my coffee. Hmm. Um, is is he there still? Like, is are there any males there? Maybe mm -hmm. it's him. No, no, it's just the we, just the people who've come in at one thirty now. Ah, darn. Okay. Well, you might want to tell the the guy that works there that that um the International Ninja Society is gonna probably um they're probably gonna fly someone out from Asia and uh, you know just okay. have a little talking to with them. Um, well, I'll, I'll try and figure out who it was. Yeah, you can't just be, uh, can't just be, uh, flashing that around all willy-nilly. Hmm. But, th I mean, they're just gonna, they're just gonna ask him where he, where he got the, the knowledge from. Because he, sure. he might have, you know, other secrets that he's not supposed to know about ninjas and senseis and all that stuff. Um... Well, I guess thanks for letting me know. I, I, I don't... <laughs> yeah, again, I don't know who, who would have that kind of knowledge, but... <sighs> yeah. Um, me either. Okay. But he, he hasn't done, like, any, like, ninja-type stuff there that you've noticed, has he? Because he's always giving me snake eyes. No, nobody here that I know of does any kind of ninja-type stuff. Okay, I guess he keeps it well hidden. Most people... Some people like to show off, you know? Sure. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm going to get... I've got a class starting here in a little bit. i got to get ready. Sure, okay. Well, uh, good luck with your class. All right, yeah. Good, Sorry. good luck with your coffees. Thanks. Bye. She's probably texting her co-worker now, letting him know that he's offended the International Society of Ninjas, or whatever I said it was, and they're flying out. Give him a talking to. Maybe he'll stop by the martial arts place tomorrow and apologize. If he knows what's good for him, that is. What are those drinks that you can draw things into? I don't know what they're called. I don't drink coffee. I just saw the photos on, you know, Google here, and the very first photo is one of those drinks that has a heart pictured on it. You know, I worked in a coffee shop once. They never let us draw designs in people's drinks. That was in the 90s, though. I don't think anyone had invented that yet. All right, we've got a place called China Dragon. They've definitely been flashing the international sign of the ninja at me. I'm tired of it. Channel Dragon. Hey there, it's Sensei Doug over at the Martial Arts Academy around the corner. Okay. Um, I was walking by there earlier today on my way to work. And okay. you were looking at me and giving me snake eyes. And you flashed the international sign of the ninja at me. Uh, this is a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I, I work over here at the Martial Arts Academy, just around the corner, like three house, three doors down. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was walking by there today, and and you were flashing the the ninja sign at me. Flashing ninja sign. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With your you you're doing the sign with your hands, you know. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. We don't have a ninja sign right here. No, no, you yeah. were f- doing it with your, like a gang sign. You know, you're flashing it with your hands and drawing it in the air. And I don't have a ninja sign. I don't know who flashing on you. Well, somebody okay. was. Like, that means you want to... Well, it's not me, okay? okay? I'm here by my phone all day, well, all right? I don't want to fight you, okay? That's what I'm saying. I just... I don't, I, I don't, I don't either, you know? <laughs> okay, well, I, I, don't, I just don't see... Don't, I don't know what you're talking about, man. But you were gi- right. you were giving me snake eyes too. Why are you giving me snake eyes all the time? Well, you know, yeah, well, what are you talking about? Who are you? Okay, it's and you call this business phone and either uh, order the food or just give me the comments like this out of nowhere. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Well, it's not out of nowhere. Like uh, every time I walk by, I look over and you're giving me snake eyes. And that's your problem. You're just, you know, you're just looking at me. You think somebody flashed a ninja eye at you? That's your problem. Well, no, it's like you shouldn't be flashing the ninja sign at me. It's not. It's rude. Is that, is, you're you're rude. Okay, you call here. I'm rude. Co- you know, claim somebody flashing a ninja sign at you. Where's the ninja sign from? His Chinese restaurant. I know. Ask you, huh? you shouldn't even know the ninja you sign. Do. You shouldn't even. Huh. You're not a sensei. You shouldn't know the ninja sign. You're not. <laughs> there he goes. I think this new idea is better than snake eyes and looking at me and butthole winking all put together. Let's see. We've got a bar and grill that's right next to the ninja place. I mean, the martial arts academy place. I I know it's not ninjas, you guys. I'm just... Thank you for calling. This is Bill. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Bill. It's uh, Sensei Doug here next door at the martial arts place. Yeah. And I was walking by there earlier, and um, I looked over, and you, I'm, I'm the, I'm, you, you know, you know which one I am, right? You're always looking at me. You're always just looking at me and giving me snake eyes. Um, at the karate place? Yeah, yeah, next door. Oh, I'm used to seeing uh, Rudolph. Yeah, no, this is Sensei Doug. I, I work with Rudolph. Oh, okay. But you, you were just okay. you were giving, you were just looking at me. You're just always looking at me, like you want to start something. And then today you were giving me the international sign of the ninja with your hands. I did. Yeah, and like that's not cool, man. Come on, I don't want to fight you. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about here. Oh, well, you can't really? you can't just make up the international sign of the ninja. You have to know that. So you don't. Well, I. I don't know what it is, actually. I don't see why I don't you're... know, so it must have been a complete uh, random accident thing. No, you're, you're trying to antagonize me, and look, I just want to walk to work and teach my students, that's all. Okay, fine. So can you please not... I have no intention of offending you in any way whatsoever, complete accidental whatever it was well i don't, I don't think it was an accident because um i mean that's a very complex symbol and you're not even supposed to know it if you're not a sensei and i know you're not a sensei no and i don't know it like where, where'd uh, you where'd you hear about the international sign of the ninja from i've never heard of it ever i don't know it i've never heard of it well then how did you make that at me like were you just possessed by the ghost of a ninja or something i i find that hard to believe huh I really don't know where you're getting this. No, I, um, I was. You're always giving me snake eyes, and now you're giving me the international sign of the ninja. You're just trying to escalate things, and I just want to go to work. I just want to teach my students. I'm a peaceful person, you know. I don't want to fight. Why do you want to fight? I don't. Well, why would you give someone the international sign of the, of the ninja then? Uh, I didn't. You did. That too. I know of. You did too. I don't know anything about that. Nothing. Well, I don't know anything about that. Well, that's good, because you're not supposed to know anything about that. That's that's a well-guarded secret in the ninja community. Okay, great. So, um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, wanted to, to know. I just wanted to make sure like, you, you weren't trying to start anything, because I, I don't want to fight you. I am not. Because I'd win, but you know, I, I'm not like that. I don't, I don't just go around starting things with people. Well, I don't either. Then why would you flash the ninja, the international s- sign of the ninja, at me? Jeez. I don't know. Uh, <sighs> I don't know it. I don't know it. 
You, you could Maybe I was doing something else that looked kind of like that. I have no idea. No, you can't just make that up. Like, you can't. It, it's so complex. Hmm. Okay. But, yeah, yeah, I just I, I just oh. want to be a good neighbor. I, I just, I, I don't know, I'm just walking by and you're over there giving me snake eyes and flashing the international sign of the ninja at me. I just want to make sure we're we're cool and everything. We're cool. That's good. And perhaps it wasn't me. I don't know. Oh, no, it was definitely you. I know who you are. I come in there and right. you get, get a drink. I'm the one that always wears my uh, my robe, and I'm I'm the black belt. I'm the one. I'm the one with the black belt. Okay. You you see me at the bar, right? Sitting there getting my drinks in my robe. Okay. My ninja. I uniform. don't know which which one you are exactly, but because I'm used to uh, Rudolph coming in here ordering carry out, usually hummus. Yeah. The hummus yeah. plate. Yep. It's Always what he gets. We use so. that for our rituals. Do you really? Yep. I thought it was he was gobbling that up himself every time. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Uh, okay. Ninja does not eat hummus. We we use it for our rituals that you don't know about. We can't. I can't tell you about it. Uh, that's all right. I don't need to know. So okay. Did, Ru- well, Rudolph, convenience right next door. Rudolph didn't teach you the international sign of the ninja, did he? Absolutely not. Okay, because I don't know where else he would learn it from. He hasn't taught me anything. Okay, because he's not supposed to. I'd have to report him to the right. people at the top if he did. Okay. He could lose his, his ninja license. Well, I don't want that. Nope. Okay. All right, well, I got a class to teach here. You know, I can't just talk all day. Okay. Well, thanks for calling. No, oh, yeah, no problem. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow when you're giving me snake eyes again. Okay. <laughs> right. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I love how people are trying to say, well, maybe I just did it by accident. I was just doing some weird, crazy, spastic thing with my hands out of nowhere. Like, that's believable. Here's a nail spa type place right around the corner from the bar and grill. Good now may I help you? Hey, it's Sensei Doug from the martial arts place around the corner. Uh, this is Sensei Doug. I work at the martial arts around the corner. You know, oh. uh, here in the shopping center, martial yes. ar- martial arts. Uh-huh. I'm right around the corner from you. Mhm. And you know how, like, um, when I walk by and you're always looking at me. Happy for what? I, I, you know how, like today I was walking by and you kept looking at me. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hello. Hello, it's Sensei Doug from the martial arts place around the corner. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, is this a snail salon here? I know, where, where I know. I, I work here in the shopping center. I'm right around the corner from you. Okay, well, where you need to be. What? So what do uh, what you want me to do? Oh, Tell you the well, um, I, I was... I was walking by today, and uh, that lady I was just talking to, uh huh, she was giving me snake eyes and just looking at me a bunch. Uh, snake eyes? Yeah, she's giving me snake eyes, and she gave me this. Um, she she did this tiger thing, like she like put her paw out and scratched at me, like like she wanted to fight. Seriously, I don't want to really understand what you're saying about... What's all that noise? Like, what are you standing by? The refrigerator? It's loud. No, because I'm working now. Oh, well, it's so loud. It's like you're standing next to a, a motor or the, something. A, a spa. Oh. Oh, yeah, I hear the water. Cool. But anyway, okay, like, so like, she... I don't know. She she was giving me the crouching tiger hidden dragon symbol. I, well, I don't think we have it here. No, no, no. She was doing it with her hands. She she was like doing the tiger thing, like she's trying to claw at me. Okay, so but mm, like what? Now we're all busy right now. So what? What do you want? You want to make an appointment or what? Oh no, no. I was just wondering, is that lady mad at me or something? Like why is she doing no. that? Oh, are you sure you're talking about the right nail salon? Oh yeah, yeah. I live. I'm. I I work just uh, around the corner, just uh, 
two doors down. Okay. You know, no, she's, she's not mad at, at anyone's, you know? Oh, okay. Cause, like, she, I kept yelling out, um, you know, ninja stuff at my classes, and you know how we share a wall? Like, mm -hmm. your back wall is the same as my back wall? Uh-huh. And um, I heard her banging on the on the wall and telling me to be quiet uh, when I was shouting my nin ninja commands to the students. Well, when that happened? Oh, all the time. Um, Ye yesterday. Well, we, we don't knock the door, actually. Yeah, no, we she, don't knock the wall. She was banging on the wall with a broom. Hmm. Well, I don't know. But now I know, you know, I'm kind of busy right now. Yeah, well, I'm sorry if we're too loud. I, I don't mean to be so loud, uh, but I have to yell out my karate stuff at my karate mm. kids. Okay, no problem. I, I, mm. You know, it's just it's just part of the part of the class here. Yeah, gotta, gotta okay, yell sir. out my ninja commands. That's all right. Mm -hmm. But um, I just I just didn't understand why she's giving me snake eyes and and clawing at the air at me. Mm. Well, because you know she don't speak English, so yeah, you but say, she, she probably don't understand. Can you turn off that motor real quick? Just turn off the spa. Well, sir, I'm bre I'm pretty busy right now. I'm working on my, my customer, so I don't have time to talk about that kind but of stuff. Can you just turn it off for the rest of the day? Because it's really loud over here. I can hear it through the wall. Turn it what? It's it's drown that 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 motor thing. It's drowning out my ninja commands that I have to yell at the students. The ninja student is like two blocks, and I mean it's not. It's not next to us, actually. Oh, no, the, the back wall. We share the same back wall. You know, the bar and grill's between us, but you're around the corner. So okay, there's just a portion um, of wall. And, and and that lady keeps banging a broom at the wall at us when I yell my ninja commands. But you guys are the ones being loud with your spa equipment. Uh, I mean, you know, we've been here for like 15 years, you know. Just... Well, so what? That didn't give you the right to be jerks. Well, I don't dress anyone. You don't what? I don't dress anybody, you know. Can can you just turn it off though while we're talking? I don't know what you, which one you talk about. That's the problem is. Well, it, it's so loud. It's like a, a motor sound. I hear water. Like a motor sounds here, uh, and just only the spa one. Yeah, yeah. Turn that off. Hit the off button. We we can we cannot turn the spa without working, sir. Yeah, I know. Is a, a spa is a spa pedicure. I know. Just turn off the pedicure machine so you can say goodbye to me. Or I guess that's another solution, just hang up without saying goodbye. Okay. So that's pretty much everything on that side of the shopping center. It's kind of a square shopping center, so there is stuff on the other side. And I could be wrong about them sharing a wall. It's hard to tell on this Google map here, but it's very possible. I'm sure the bar is louder than the spa machine. But on the far end here, we have the Christian Science Society. I think they might be actually right next door to the nail place. And I don't know what Christian science is. On the sign it says it's a reading room and they have church services. Oh, and they're not next to the nail place. The nail place is like three doors down. Some of these businesses aren't showing up four doors down. Hello? 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 Yes? What you doing? Uh, who is this? Uh, it's Sensei Doug. I work over at the martial arts place, like around the corner. Uh-huh. Did, did I not reach the... Are you sleeping in there? You're not supposed to be sleeping. It's business hours. Uh, no. Is this, is this the Christian Science Society? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. You're just like, hello, and it sounded like you just woke up. No. <laughs> oh. Hi. Well, hi. What you, what you doing? <laughs> I'm studying our Sunday Bible lesson. Oh. Okay, um, I was just wondering, you know, like, I, I, I always walk by your windows on my way here, uh -huh. to, on my way to work here at the dojo. Uh-huh. And you're always in there giving me snake eyes. <laughs> and um, you, you gave me the international sign of the ninja today when I walked by. I thought that was weird. I, I don't, like, I'm not trying to, I, I don't, you know, we can coexist. I know our whole belief system is different, but you don't have to be like that. 
I don't know what you mean. You gave me the international sign of the ninja when I walked by, and usually you're just giving me snake eyes. Uh, wh- what's a ninja? Uh, you know, it's like a karate thing. It's what? Oh. You know, like pirates and ninjas? No, I wasn't aware of that. I uh, usually, I look up and uh, see somebody walking by, but I don't, I'm not. Really sending them any messages? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. You you gave me this. You gave me the. You flashed like a gang sign for the international sign of the ninja. It's a very hush what? hush martial I, arts thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, what could I do that? Why would you flash it then? What What is it? it it's a well. I'm not supposed. You're not even supposed to know it, so I can't tell you what it is. But usually oh. people do that when they want to fight me, and I, I don't want to fight anyone. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, the the international sign of the ninja. I mean, like, don't repeat that even, because we're, we're not supposed to talk about it, really. It's one of the first rules. But, I mean, you know, like, I, I, I just... Are you on the level? What? Are you kidding me? Are you on the level, or are you kidding oh, me? Oh, no, I'm not kidding. We're, we're, I'm, as a ninja, I'm not allowed to kid. I, I'm just, uh-huh. you know, I'm always walking by, and you're always giving me snake I eyes. Don't know, I don't know what snake eyes are. Uh, what are snake eyes? Well, you're always giving me snake eyes. You're always, just, like, looking at me. Just looking. I wouldn't know you if I saw you. I'm the guy, I wear my uh, karate uniform usually. Um, you know, even when I'm not working, I, I just wear it around town. I'm the black belt. I have the headphones on. Uh-huh. Well, did you have a coat on or what? Oh, no, no, I, I wouldn't wear a coat over my uh, ninja outfit uniform. That'd be disrespectful. Even in this weather, you wouldn't? Yeah, uh, the cold doesn't bother me because I'm a ninja and my body is very disciplined. Well, I I don't remember ever seeing you, but um, I've seen classes run by sometimes. Yeah, and they have their coats on, right? Because when a kid comes in here with their coat on, I yell at them and berate them in front of the class. Because you're not supposed to wear a coat over your ninja uniform. Well, I I well, I drop kick him to the face, boot to the head. Well, <laughs> damn kids, so. damn kids today. They have no respect. This sounds really strange, but uh, I'm gonna pray about it. And okay. Well, um. You know, just just no more of that international sign of the ninja. Because I, I just want to be a good neighbor, a good friendly neighbor. Like, you know, I've even waved at you a few times. I just try to give you a friendly wave and you just give me snake eyes back. I often wave at people who go by, but I don't remember. Well, not me. I don't, I don't know... We are, but well, I'm I'm an in, like I'm a sensei. Um, I I just I work over at the dojo, and I I know our our belief system is more superior than yours. The, you know, n- ninja law and all that. The book of the ninja. But you know that uh-huh. like I I have, a, you know I I have I have respect for your beliefs and all that. I I don't think we should be enemies or anything. Uh, I, Just live and let live. I, That's what I always say. I'm, I'm no one's enemy. Our lesson this week is on love. Love is from God. Well, you should practice what you and, preach. Uh, I do. Are, are you sure you just didn't wake up? You sound really tired. I'm pretty sure All right. I did not just wake up. I'm... Studying and reading and praying and praying for the world and praying for all people in it. Yeah. Knowing that God God is the source of all love. And um, no, that that would be Ed. Pardon? 
Pardon me? No, it's not God. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting our beliefs mixed up again. We pray to Ed here at the... Ed? Yeah, you know Ed. You mean E.D.? Yeah, E.D., Ed. Eddie, Eddie, but we don't call him Eddie. That's disrespectful. We call him Ed or Edward. That's who the uh, all ninjas across the world pray to. Ed. Uh, well, what is Ed? Uh, he's, uh, you know, it's Ed. How do you, how do you even explain it? I don't know. Come over here sometime. I'll give you the, I'll let you take a peek at the Book of the Ninja. I'm just around the corner. Well, God, God is a divine law. Yeah, but, you know, Ed's, uh, higher up on the chain. He's with corporate. It's not a person. God is not a person. It's a divine law. Yeah, see, Ed's a real person. Law of He's like the law of gravity. Ed's in the corporate office. People come and go, but God's law is always there and and was before the world was. Oh, I don't know. And and will be after the world destroys itself. Well, I don't know about all that. God, God is love. Yeah. Well, Ed, Ed's never said anything about that. I think you might be wrong. But anyway, I, I have a class to teach here. Uh huh. And um I gotta I gotta prepare for my class. I just I just didn't know what was going on with the international sign of the ninja you were giving me earlier. I was just worried about that. I didn't I didn't want any trouble. I uh, I don't know who you are and I don't know what you're talking about, oh. so I think you're pretty safe. Okay, <laughs> that's good. It's good to hear. I was worried. Um, next time I wave, you should wave back at me. We'll just be friends and just wave hello to each other. Well, if I look up, I do. If I'm engrossed in something, I probably don't look up when everybody walks by. No more snake eyes. We're just going to wave and say hello. No more international sign of the ninjas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I better go get ready for my class. Yeah, this has been a really strange conversation. Well, but, not, uh, not as strange as you give me the international sign of the ninja. That was weird. Yeah, I'm sure it was, uh, whatever that is. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, uh, I gotta go. Okay. Praise Ed. Yeah. I accidentally hung up on her. I wanted to hear her response to Praise Ed, but I just hung right up on her. Oops. I think that's going to do it for this list. Thank you, Nomad Cow, for this one. I still have two others in your email that I need to call up, two other shopping centers. So thank you for sending those in. I still can't find that one really big list I'm thinking of. Maybe I used it all up. I didn't think I did. I thought I still had some left. Hopefully I didn't delete it by accident. Hey, Brad. Um, hey. I'm going back listening to some old shows. I'm in Ding Timber now. That's nice. Um, I love how people, when you call them, and it's like, Whoa, what happened? Like, oh, yeah, we oh. put it in the body shop. We're getting quotes and shit. I was like, wow, so you actually didn't hit the car, but they had a ding on there before, so they just probably assumed, well, I'm going to get it fixed. This shows how fucking scummy some people can be. Yeah. Holy shit. Or could be they just didn't know the car was saying but anyway brad under a minute later yeah good job kept it under a minute 34 seconds that's perfect unlike this guy that left a two minute long voicemail and then a minute and 53 second long voicemail and then a minute and 14 seconds long voicemail guess how many of those voicemails are gonna get played hey brad Hey, it's Dylan. Um, hey, Dylan. Yeah, just listen to your recent episode. I guess the pervert the one or whatever. Um, yeah, you're you don't have like the sound of you like hanging up. So I keep on thinking that like you're constantly on phone with everybody and that you're just yeah. like chaining calls. With I have an explanation for that. I was trying out a new SIP client, which is like the software telephone thing. Normally, I use a client called Blink, but recently, I decided to give a new client a try, and it was nice for a while until it stopped working. I still need to try it again because it was really cool, and I can't even remember what it's called. I can't find it here in my start menu thingy. I completely forget what it was called. Man, where is it? I, it's, it's gone. Did I uninstall it or something? Oh no, there it is. It's called MicroSip, and it had a really annoying hang-up sound, so I turned off the sounds for a couple of shows so it didn't make that noise. 
And then on the third show I did with it, I managed to figure out how to change the sound to the old hang-up sound from Blink. And I did that for one show, and then the whole thing just broke, or I found a problem with it that I didn't like, so I stopped using it. I can't remember exactly. But that's the story of why you don't hear the hang-up sound for a couple of shows earlier this month, I think it was. So, I don't know. I'm just about like a few minutes in. So maybe yeah. maybe you fix it later on. But um, I yeah, did. I just had actually a couple ideas for the show. Because um, uh, it seems like you're kind of beating a dead horse you're or something. You're 35 so. seconds no, in, no. and you're getting ready to insult me and tell me how much I suck. Why would I keep playing this voicemail? And your other four minutes of voicemails. Those are just going to get deleted. I'm not even going to hear them. Here, I'll play a few seconds more. Let's hear what I'm doing wrong. But um, I was thinking, like, you could call up uh, storage facilities and kind of mess with them. You know, you could yeah. say, like, because they're always, like, yeah. they adver- advertise that they're temperature controlled or whatever. They're secure. Mm-hmm. Say, like, hey, you know, uh, it's okay if I like, store, like, cadavers or whatever. I'm a medical student. What a great idea. Or, like, a bunch of, like, that won't get the police called on me. I think I'd rather beat a dead horse than do calls that ensure that the person I'm calling is going to call the police and report my number. Hey, Brad, it's Jack Keliquin. Hey, you know, Jack. I just noticed that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel with every one of your accounts. Oh, I just want to wow. say thanks. You're a really fucking sweet dude. I mean, I have nothing to do with prank calls. I just like your I'm stuff. Like, every time I'm on your show, you shout me out, and that's awesome, but you don't have to. You do awesome things for the show. Why wouldn't I support you and your weird shit that you do on YouTube? I like your shows, and everyone else should too. YouTube.com slash Jack Heliquin. I don't do nothing with prank calls. I, mean, I might in the future, whatever, but... You like- know what Jack did? He made this really cool animation of Mildred Monday, and it's just his voice on it. But if I can, I'm going to try and capture that instead of just asking Jack for it. That's what I should do. But I want to capture that and put it on the beginning of today's YouTube version of this show. If you didn't see that today on the beginning of the show, that's because, I don't know, I just got too lazy and didn't do it. Your show is awesome. It's, like, the Thanks. best thing on the internet. Thanks, Jack. Like, through you, I found, like, Carlito and Dwight and yeah. Matt fucking Hillock. It's just great. I just want to say thanks yeah. for all that. He's okay. I love this community. It's so great. It's so, like, it sure true is. and honest. <laughs> I don't know about honest, you fucking psychos. Yeah. But it's, it's fairly awesome, honest. and it's really awesome. I fucking love it. I love all of this and I'm addicted to it it's all I do sounds like Jack is on some good drugs tonight for about the past since 2013 like I've done nothing but listen to just prank call podcast yep. so thank your, your life is on track thank you for helping me discover this wonderful world you're and, welcome uh, that's all I ever wanted was just to uh, you know listen you know I'm a listener damn it I love it anyways toodles also, it's cool to see you do, like, photo You know what, Jack? It's been a minute and 11 seconds now. How long is this going to go on? I just yelled at the last guy for leaving six minutes of voicemails. Calls and stuff soon. And the whole, like, um... Fucking Dylan. The Craigslist with the sexual in the windows. That shit is so... Sexual in the windows? Is that what you just said? It's funny. I love it so much. I drove home laughing my ass off to it. Anyways, toodles. Under a minute, God damn it. Yeah, no. <laughs> you weren't under a minute. Close, though. Hey, Brad, it's Max Power. Hey, hey, I'm sorry about the way that list turned out. Oh, come on. It had more potential. Don't be than, silly. It's not um, your also, fault. Also, um, now that I've 2000... Sometimes calls just don't work out. I can't even remember what it was that happened. Come on, that was, like, over a show ago, I think. 19, do you have any plans for the 2019 PLA coin? Are uh, you think you're going to do coins, or do you think you're going to do know. something else this year? Uh, just want to ask. Anyways, how just got this? I don't know about coins this year. I'll definitely do coins next year. Get some of those 2020 coins. Maybe it should just be an every two years thing. That was just a massive undertaking last year. I'm pretty sure I spent a full week on just, you know, records and organizing and addressing envelopes and all that. Not to complain. It was worth it. But it seems like I just finished with that. Do I have to do it again already? Hey, Brad. This is Hank Hill, a.k.a. Trooper Cabra. I'm calling because I got a bone to pick with you. Somebody's been calling my mama, talking shit, saying they're Steve Day or fucking RBCP. or was me. Even one of them said he was Sensei fucking Duck. Let me tell you, she don't even take karate. Now, you just stay away from her. But, I mean, I'm Once trying to forward. figure out who the slimy little people times cocksucker that just signed his own fucking death board is. But I like you because you're a joker. 
to know what I'm saying. Thanks, anyway, Hank. you can come over and fuck my sister if you need to, or okay. you can have some of these sheep that I'm fixing to feed. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye, Hank. I hope you catch him. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. So, I wanted to touch on, why haven't you uploaded videos to the main Film Losers of America uh, YouTube page? Why haven't you done it in a long time? It's well, like the main way that guess people what? would watch your prank. You should be happy, because I just uploaded some last week. This voicemail is over a week old, so he probably thinks I uploaded those because of him. But no, Crimson, I didn't do it because of you. I just did it because, I don't know. I wasn't getting a show done that day, so I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to upload a bunch of videos. I think I did five days in a row last week. You get introduced to phone losers, yeah. in my opinion. And then also there's no... If I had it my way, I would have a new video up there every single day. And really, I should have spaced those out. I should have spaced them out, like, weekly or something. But stupid me, I just did five days in a row. Five shows anymore, and we're the Facebook mobs, Brad. Well, Come on, you, I don't do live you're shows, kicking so. yourself. You're kicking yourself. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, and check this out. Hey, Alexa, who's Brad Carter? David Bradley Brad Carter is an American film and television actor, guitarist, painter, sculptor, and uh, photographer. Son of a bitch. Known for playing Charlie Lane, the true detective, and Leo and Groon in Sons of Anarchy. After suffering from That sucks. Okay, I'm not going to listen to Alexa talk about some other Brad Carter. Thanks for making me feel less important, Crimson. Yes. Yes, this is a message for Brad from 2007. Oh, hey, uh, I was Brad. thinking you should redirect the time and temperature to your number, and for a show, just like give out the time and temperature randomly to people. Yeah. And then just like maybe insult them after you say something like, "The time is 7:05 p.m." What a great idea. And the temperature is I'm gonna do zero it. degrees. You dumb hobo. I don't know. That's a terrible idea. But anyway. Get that message yeah. to Brad from 2007. Uh, if you could, that would be nice. All right, thanks. Yeah. Bye. If I'd known that they were going to shut off the time and temperature in Alton, Illinois, I may have tried to take it over myself instead of letting these other people take it over. But they're doing a good job with it, at least. I miss the original lady's voice. I forget her name. Was it Pat Fleet or that other one? I always get those two ladies confused. Now the computer voice, it sounds like Birdman from Rick and Morty. The current temperature is 23 and mostly cloudy. Southeast winds at 10.1 miles per hour with a wind chill of 13 degrees. Tomorrow, low 32. Saturday, not as cool. High of 52. Periods of sunshine. Uh, Brad! Pick up Brad! Pick up! Oh, sorry. Pick up Brad! Brad! Pick up! Okay, pick up! Bye. Sorry, I wasn't there. I wasn't near the machine to pick up. That's enough of these voicemail things. There are more sitting in here still, but I will get to those later this week because I'm definitely doing at least one more show this week. That's the plan anyway. We'll see if I can stick to it. Thank you for listening, everyone. Please be sure to support the show at patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. Thank you to the supporters of today's show. The sponsors, I mean, Stan Trucker, Arbitrary Alex, I Regret Jumping, Rumpled Foreskin, and Jamie F., Go find us on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. The main YouTube channel, it's got a bunch of new videos, like four or five of them. Maybe I'll put some more up soon. I'm ending the show with a song that Sensei Doug loves to play on his Walkman while he's power walking and ninja punching at the air to the beat of the music, getting looked at by everyone. Here's some Europe. There's no but butthole looking at the windows in this place.